Hi folks, Thomas Sinson here with thomasinson.com and today is another episode of Big Data Big Questions. So today's question comes in from a YouTube user and it's all around some of the books that I think you know are very popular for data engineers and machine learning engineers. And in fact, I'm gonna go ahead, so we're so close to the end of the year, let's talk about how these are the top books for 2019. So if you're a data engineer, machine learning engineer, what are some of the books that you know I think are the most important for you know if you got time you know on a train or you you know you're going on a trip or something like that what are some things you can dig into I'm gonna show you these are all the books that I have and go ahead and get them on Kindle um, I'm not gonna talk about any of the audio books I do have some books that I've talked about from a technology perspective but these are gonna be for you the data engineer machine learning engineer no matter where you are in your career I think these are gonna be the top ones for 2019 so Without further ado, let's go through these. I've got them in order, so this is going to be a little visual episode, so uh, you'll get to see the books here, but uh, bear with me as we go through it. So I'm going to go in reverse order, and I'm going to give you the top seven, so the top seven books for 2019 for data engineers and machine learning engineers. So the first one, it's going to be this Python reference book. So I'm a huge fan of these reference books, not to spoil it, but you will see another one of these in the top. Uh, later on that we'll talk about but this book here you know any kind of coding or anything like that yes you can always find things on you know you know in your browser as you're searching on but with Python being so popular I've talked about it quite a few times you know it's what I'm doing some of my new newer machine learning engineers courses in is uh, using Python for like TensorFlow and TF Learn and some, some other pieces this book right here is really really helpful and I think that you know it's something that you should have whether you take in a briefcase or whether you take in a book bag, make sure that you have this. So this is number seven. <clears throat> Next, so you've all seen it on my channel. You've seen me diving in and talking more and more around what's going on with deep learning and neural networks. So this book right here, number six, so a visual introduction for beginners. So this is around neural network math. Very, very easy to understand really puts into perspective the math behind neural networks so it's a hot topic i think everybody should really start digging into it so this is a fairly fairly easy read for the complexity of what we're going through so you can see there there are a lot of pictures and a lot of formulas which are really needed to kind of break up what could be a very dry subject so um shout out to uh, my co-workers who actually did a training training event and had the uh, these books for us there too so I kind of had to read the book at first, but I do recommend it and I do reference it a lot. Um, so you can see there's, you know, just in just in the back and some of the stuff that you've seen on this channel is all because of some of the topics that I've been able to learn going going through this book as well too. So this is number six, so Neural Network Math. So make sure you're picking that one up. Next, this one's more in the machine learning uh, engineer uh, area, but once again, another Python book here. So Python for data analytics. It's really going through NumPy and uh, Pandas and just really show, showing you, you know, kind of some of the things around how we've gotten from a data analytics perspective and what you can do with Python. Specifically, you know, I, I know some people go ahead and put them in the comments and, and tell me what you think about it, but specifically this may not be just for, you know, data engineers specifically or machine learning engineers because you, you don't have to use some of, the some of the tips and tricks that they're going to show you, you know, on large data sets, but trust me, these things are going to come back whenever you're using uh, TensorFlow, whenever you're using um, CAFE, other other pieces. You're going to want to know some of these base level technologies. This is a good book to get involved in it. So make sure that you check that one out. So that one was number five, right? Number five. <clears throat> man, heating up here, man. So pretty fun stuff. So 2019 coming in. This was this is book number four, an older book. But man, look at look at how many different you know how, how many different little tags that I've put in it. This one is still very important, still very relevant. They're still updating this. Uh, I don't I don't even know what I think they might be on version five now. I think mine is two or mine's three here. But this is a very very good book. I, you know I've loved it. It's something I got when I first got into big data, and especially when if you're doing anything around Hadoop. So you know I've talked a little bit on this channel about you know is Hadoop dead? I don't think it's dead. wasn't dead in 2018. It's not going to be dead in 2019. So you know buckle up join join in get this book like I said use this book as a reference there's a ton a ton of ton of data in here that'll show you how to go through things not just from you know an HDFS perspective but you know yarn pig and some other things and they're still continuing to update it I don't even know the popularity of this book but I mean I'm sure it's out there because of just how many different revisions they did so that was number four <clears throat> all right so number three very biased here 
heard me even review this book before, but this is more of a business book, but it's very important. You have to you have to understand the business value and how to talk to the business. And I mean, the business is your customers, right? I mean, you know, we, it's fun to be able to do the things with the technology, but we have to understand what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish with these algorithms, with these systems that we're building up. So this one, the Big Data MBA, Bill Schmarzo. Bill, man, you know, if you're watching this, Bill, I had to put you in. I had to put you in there, man. You know, you, you made it to the top three, and this is mostly a technical audience. So, man, this this how impactful this book is. So, I'm not going to go into too much about this. I've talked about this. I've got a review out there. If you want, if you want to check it out, just you know, make sure make sure you click on the uh, link above, and you can watch my whole video breaking down this. But understand how to talk around the business challenges and what we're trying to accomplish from a big data perspective. Really, really important. Number three here. <clears throat> All right, last two books. So, 2019, Data Engineers, what books do you need? This one I've had for years. <laughs> Another pocket guide, it's the last pocket guide here. But look at that, I mean, there's so many different, I mean, you need to know how to, you know, what to be able to do from the Linux command line. So many different commands from the HDFS perspective, you know, what, you know, where, where our system's running. If you're running, if you're doing any kind of Hadoop development, this one should be in your pocket. Okay, maybe not your pocket, but I mean, it's in your book bag, right? Or your briefcase or it's sitting on your desk. This one's sitting on my desk. And, you know, I mean, look at all the notes I've even taken. I mean, I've had this one over the years and it's, it's just been so helpful. So, you know, some people, maybe some people know all the commands in their head. They don't have to look it up or they just want to use the browser. But I'm telling you, it's just good to be able to have this and be able to look at this especially if you've ever been in a system and tried to set it up when you don't have internet access. Aw, bonus points for somebody that can do that. There you go. So pick that up. Number two book. I'm going to look at that. It's not even, I mean, it's not even really a data engineering book specifically, right? But I'm telling you, you're going to use this. This is going to be a top book. This is something that you're going to want to have. <clears throat> All right, data engineering books of 2019. Anybody, any guesses out there what this one's going to be? I mean, if you've been watching this channel, you'll know what, what I'm really hot on right now. TensorFlow. So not a long book, but this, this book right here is worth its weight in gold just for the information. So I think TensorFlow continues to be one of the top deep learning and hottest, you know, contributed uh, deep learning frameworks out there. And I think it's going to be more and more relevant into what we're doing in the Hadoop space in the data engineering space, in the machine learning engineering space, and it's just gonna help us build amazingly cool apps. So pick this one up, you know, if you're looking out there, you know, if you're wanting to get some books, get into that. And the crazy thing is, is all these books, you, I'm not sponsored by O'Reilly, but O'Reilly, if you would like to sponsor me, let's talk. But I mean, that's just the majority of the books that I have. So um, until next time, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to put them in the comment section here below. Make sure you subscribe and share this video with other future aspiring data engineers or anybody that wants to be involved in the community. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.